So uh, upon checking to see if this is magnetic, <laughs> the pan just popped right out. I don't know what to say. I'm grateful. Today I thought I would show you how to take your Sunset Stripped Palette, Dupe Palette by Sydney Grace and change it into the Patrick Ta one. But wait, Kendra, if you do that, then they won't see what you used in the whole process and the whole reason that we watch YouTube. Okay, so let's go ahead and break this down and see if we can swap some shades out and go from Sunset Stripped to Patrick Ta's Major Dimension 2 palette. Since they do have some rosy peachy tones in both palettes, I thought maybe we could just swap you know, a few of the shades here and there out and come up with the Patrick Ta dupe palette. If you guys are interested in that video, then just make sure you stay tuned. Hi, I'm Kendra Morgan O and I like to put out content around single eyeshadows, makeup brushes that aren't Morphe and sunscreens. I'm gonna have to work on this intro because I'm starting to branch out and do shop my stashes, um, sides of palettes and things of that nature. So just make sure if interested in beauty related content that you subscribe to the channel because it's very eclectic here on this channel. Let's get started. I think the best thing to do would be to first swap out two of the shades. So let's just take these out. And if we pull we need. Gonna wipe this down so we can start fresh. I think I'm gonna stay with this palette. Trying to find a really good cloth that can wipe this stuff down. If you guys have any suggestions, give them to me. This is just like a uh, cotton cloth of some sort. So yeah, but I'm kind of looking for something a little better because it feels like it kind of makes it streaky in a way. Uh, this is an older palette though, so that might have something to do with it. Let's go ahead and get started. First off, the thing that I know that the Patrick Ta palette has that's different than the Sunset Stripped is the fact that there is a cream shadow. So I have this base shadow right here and then I thought I would go ahead and pull out another couple of my cream shadows and then make a light and a dark um, shadow. Okay, so what I thought I would do is just go ahead and scrape some of my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and that could be um, some of my more cream shadow. So I'm just going to, and it's not going to be perfect, but I'm just doing, you know, I don't know, a week or so's worth. And it's getting rather dried out, so I'm, you know, getting down to the last leg of it. I don't mind taking some out. The other two shadows that I have are this Maybelline Color Tattoo. It's in the shade Creamy Beige. And I don't think that is different enough than the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Maybe. You know, that's not bad. Then I have this shade right here from A Previous Life. And it's a shimmer. But I know that the two shades that they had were matte. So maybe I should use some of them. I also have this Flower Beauty Pot. It's more of a black shade though. So those are the options that we have. I think I'll go with the Maybelline color tattoo. I think, you know, given the circumstances and what I've got, that'll work. But, you know, just to let you guys know, mix and match some shades in your collection. I really, this is kind of a gap in my collection. I only have like a few of these potted um, shadows or and or shadow sticks. So, you know, kind of some food for thought there. Grab some of this out. Just scrape it out generously and then place some in this pot or this empty pan. And you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this kind of for the intents and purposes of making a palette that I can show you you know, but you wouldn't have to do this. You could just, okay, I'm gonna put this in my capsule. But you know, I'll use it for a week or two like this and then when it starts drying out, just clean them out, 
return the pans and you know go on about my day so now that we've got those taken care of let's see from the Patrick Ta palette what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of All right so I'll have it put up here on the screen so I feel like I have my two creams and then um, looks like we've got should we do shimmers first and then mattes? Actually, I think we can get most of the mattes on the bottom row done. And then the shimmers are where we might have some, you know, playtime. Uh, I think for the bottom row, so it goes from darkest to lightest. I'm gonna use this shade, which is Beyond by Sydney Grace. This shade right here is Lords a leaping and I think it's more like a it's more reddish or purpley red than it is like a sandstone red I think I do want to keep this shade for the fourth shade over and possibly this shade right here which is San Diego oh yeah by the way this is hot chocolate in San Diego and then the lightest matte shade can stay Summer Magic. I think those are some really good shades. They look really nice. Ooh, Honesty is, is it that kind of rosiness that we want? Do we want that in place of hot, not hot chocolate, but San Diego? I think I will okay so I'm using stuff from my sunset strip palette and then I'm just gonna put it on over into it as needed I think I mean I could use this I think I have one that's more of an orangey shade which you know actually this might be okay I think for I think for this palette I think I want to stay using this shade and that's Lords of Leaping I do like that shade I'm getting rid of that really purple plummet shade. Um, French Hens was a little bit more like peachy tone, not as rosy. And San Diego, remember I, uh, I ended up swapping out Honesty for San Diego. So, okay. I know I want to incorporate the shade Blaze because it is really, really textured and it's super, super, you know, vibrant. So which one would it fit in? Uh, it's really, really orange. It's not very plummy. It, it could possibly go in, stand in for that shade right there. And then I think for the rest of these shadows, um, they're quite, how do I put it? They're like almost a sheer shadow. These are really, really pigmented. They have a strong base, you know, to them that I feel doesn't really represent the Patrick Ta palette. So I wanna grab some of my other shades and possibly put those in. All right, I grabbed some of my singles out that are like more like topper shades. Here, like these Ulta Bounce shadows. I have the Natasha Denona. I have two Jaclyn Hill toppers. Um, and then I actually have a couple of these Sephora shadows that are kind of rosy, believe it or not. So maybe those, and you can take those out. So all you have to do is just take this, pop it out with your tool. I almost always need a tool, so. Oops. And then it just pops right out. This is the shade Mystic Queen. I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe this is a good shadow for oops, for the palette. It's not as sparkly, I have to say. It is not as sparkly. I do feel like this bounce shadow could possibly go in place of one of them. See it? It's really, really creamy, but there's like no glitter to it. And again, I would have to scrape out. So that, I don't, I don't really think I want to use any of those. And then the Rowan shadow that I have is more like copper shaded instead of, I wonder if you can take this out of the pan though. Oh, should we find out? 
today on the next episode of Silly Things Kendra Likes to Do. Yeah, this tool isn't really um, thin enough, but I bet you anything you could. All right. Um, there's Ritz. Ritz might be a nice one to put in there. And it, I feel like it's super glittery. And that's what I need. Ooh, maybe I should grab some of my Natasha Denona shades. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, folks. I, I really, I try my hardest to grab shades that I feel like um, are, that you can buy as singles. But ultimately, I need the palette that I'm going to use. Is this magnetic? I wonder if it is. I think it is. I think I checked it. I've already hit pan in it. I think I do want that to be like right there. So maybe I'll scrape a little out because that does look really, really. And that's the sh ColourPop shadow in Ritz. So I'm going to put that right there. Put the lid over in the corner. I think we're done with these. So just kind of put those down right there. I I really don't see myself using these. Of course, these Jacqueline. This is a kind of a bronzy shadow. It's not plummy. It would need to. This could actually be the first shade in the palette if I wanted it to be. Nah. I think I'm gonna stick with the Ritz shadow. I'd like it to be removable so that I can, you know, kind of kind of play around with it. Oh, I guess I do have one more like uh, potted type of shade. This is an RMS po eye polish. Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> yep, it's starting to go bad. Look at that. Do you see that? It could also be the coconut in it. Nope, it's starting to smell like formaldehydes. Wow, that's crazy. But that is a pretty color, but she's going to go bye-bye. You know, I might clean this out and use it for like, I'm not sure, travel something or other, you know. But yeah, this has got to go. This went bad. I've only had it for a year. I'll link that video up here for you. Well, actually, I think it'd be up there. Um, hey, I got that like less than a year ago, I think. Okay, that's always good to know. So, I really thought maybe, all right, so we'll, th that's done for. I'm gonna put this over here and then I'm going to grab my Luxy Beauty Shadows lay them on top and see if we've got some rosy shades that could potentially go into the palette. I don't remember the names of these. Do they have names, folks? Do they have names? I feel like they should. I'm looking it up right now. It's loading. I don't see any names. Ooh, but there you have it. That's pretty. Okay, so I'm looking at this shade right here, and I think this one would be the closest to like that brown. Mm. Oh wow, look at that too. It's kind of thin and sparkly. Oops, there's that shadow. You know which one that one was? Gingerbread. No, it was doll face. <laughs> she took a chunk out of it. So everybody, look at this swatch, look at it. Um. Yeah, let's do this one. This one is ultraviolet. I don't know what's going on with Luxy. So they were, they went, they switched, they said, okay, we're doing something different, all new shadows, blah, 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 blah. And now you can buy some of the shades on the website. It, it kind of seems like maybe they brought back some of the more popular shadows. Now, we got those, that looks pretty. Let's see if we got anything else. Um, so just basically all I'm trying to say is check back with Luxie. Maybe, you know, throughout time you'll find some of their shadows to be online. So second from the end. This is kind of a pretty shade, although I don't think it's going to fit. 
our initiative. Ooh, what's that? Hmm. I think it's just a little too far out there. <laughs> Something like this, though, that's really pretty. That is the monarch. I don't remember. Did she? I think she brought some of the um, the butterfly collection back. So let's use the monarch. What's this? This is Bohemian. Oh, that's a nice rosy gold. I think we're, we we should put that in. We should definitely put that in. And what about this pink? I thought I saw like a really pinky duochrome. What is this? This is smooches. Yeah, don't know if that's available or not. I just, I happened to check and peruse the Luxie website and I saw that she was bringing back some of her, you know, shades that she's had before. That's kind of pretty. I don't think that there's any like duochromes that duo quite like that one. What shade is this? Oh, um, yeah, Rocky Road. Yeah. Hmm. So let's take a look and see what we've got. So we've got the Monarch and we've got Bohemian. I don't know about you, but I think, quite frankly, this isn't bad. Maybe I don't need to have this one. Maybe there's a sparkly shade in here in Luxie. Because, you know, Luxie has been known to... Ooh, what's this? See, but the problem is that is like duochrome vibes, hardcore. That was the shade Salted Caramel. Their Rocky Road collection has Salted Caramel, Rocky Road, Ube is in one of these. I think it's either this one. No, nope, might be. Oh, here it is. I'm almost positive this is Ube right here. Yep, there's Ube. And then another one, I don't remember what it is, was just fantastic fantastic that's a very pink base that could that could work in place of the Ritz shadow I just don't know if I want to grab you know shadow out of here because I use this quite frequently and you know essentially what you don't use your waist <laughs> You guys already know I can't project paint because this I don't I just I use my stuff generously I I don't really like oh I'm just gonna use a little bit you know I I just go in and I give the juiciest swatch I can find I just mix it right up I just you know what let's do it let's do it let's go ahead and grab a pan and grab some of this Ritz out I actually bought a backup so we we're good I'll go grab a pan grab some Ritz out so uh, upon checking to see if this is magnetic <laughs> the pan just popped right out I I don't know what to say I'm grateful oh, there we go okay so I guess I'm sure many of you knew this already because this is not a very common shade Ooh, isn't that just so darling though I don't feel like I should be putting that back so let's do a big old juicy swatch on my hand oh my goodness okay there it is Okay, so there we have it. A shadow. I'm going to have to dust off some of this excess from my Luxie shadows. <laughs> but there you guys go. I, oh, it's like completely disintegrated. <laughs> it feels like balm. I guess it wasn't actually glue. I don't know. I don't know what happened. At any rate, mine just like popped right out when I checked on it but I had brought my tool so there you have it oh I wonder however if does this little thing come out yeah it does I never knew this stuff before so why is it that they need so much like I guess I could have taken this out placed it in there what is on there? It's like the glue just completely disintegrated on me. Anyways, there you go. 
and then I don't know I thought maybe yeah you can't really cap it too well but that was my idea that's kind of cool so anyways um, on things that I like to destroy there you have it so there we go let's go ahead and swatch this puppy out and I'll show you guys each shade on my arm because I've never I don't do that very often I don't do I all right let me move these shades over creams shall we there's Mac painterly paint pot and this is the Maybelline tattoo studio in creamy beige So then next up, sorry if it's getting like louder, my microphone, I just went ahead and put it right over here, is the shade Ultraviolet. Should we do top and then bottom row? I feel like, yeah, that's what we should do. So I'll leave a little gap and then we'll do top and then bottom row. So this is Ultraviolet by Luxy. This is Blaze by Sydney Grace. That's just a little bit too copper for my taste. However, I don't have too many rosy tones. Like, I guess I could put this shade forever enough, but it doesn't really capture the texture that I'm looking for. So I think I'm going to leave Blaze in there for now. Going back to Luxie, we have Bohemian. Oh, but this color right here marries these two together. Like this color could go with Blaze or this could go with um, Ultraviolet. So, you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And then the Monarch is kind of a duochrome, duochrome shadow, which I feel like the Patrick Ta Major Dimension palette has in it. Yeah, and then this is kind of rosy, kind of coppery. Lastly, we have the Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ritz. There you go. I think the one that stands out the most, again, like I said, is this one right here. Um, if I had to replace it, boy, I just don't know, maybe smooches. But I really do want like a deeper, darker shadow. Without going into say like a Davina shade, I really don't know that there's anything from Luxy that I would use. So we'll just go ahead and keep it, keep it this way. Okay, let's go ahead and do the bottom row. Sydney Grace Beyond. Then Lords a Leaping. This is hot chocolate? Yes. That's kind of hard panning on me. Honesty. And Summer Magic is the most creamy, beigey, pinky beige that I have from Sydney Grace. There we go. And that is my Patrick Ta. If you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload. Um, I have quite a, an extensive single collection, so I always try to dupe out the vibes of the palettes that I want to own. And I'm going to be doing more of that. And then probably in a more formal video, I will give you guys a savings counter to date. And to just kind of, it's always kind of fun to see how much money have I saved using what I've already got in my collection versus if I went out and bought it. It's just a really simple calculation. I don't take into consideration what I've already spent on my singles. I just consider that, you know, done and over with. But anyways, there you have it. 
I've got my Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette. I'm really, really excited for, you know, all these textures, all these, you know, creams over here that I've managed to put in and um, the versatility that I think I will probably find. So make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm probably going to do a video where I use this palette in a get ready with me. Thanks so much for watching guys. Can't wait to see you guys in my next video.